everyone, welcome back to our course on computer vision. I am Kausal Tripathi, your instructor, and today we are going to talk about matching of contours. So, previously we have learned about how to find contours and draw them, then we have talked about sorting of the contours. Now, today we will talk about the most important and the most easy topic in the field of contours matching of contours. So, uh, when we talk about matching of contours, that means we have one design. And we want to compare that design, that shape in our all of those images. That whether that shape is present in those images or not. So this kind of basically helps us in finding in doing object detections and recognition. These kinds of shapes, uh, this sorry, this kind of matching of contours helps us a lot in finding, you know, uh, objects in detecting the objects. And it also helps us if you know like some kind of an e-commerce website where you put a design of something uh, some cloth like you say you want a cloth of this kind of a design and you get immediately you get response related with that kind of clothes related with that kind of design so all of these things happen means there's some kind of a role of computer vision of matching of the contours in that in there that it matches it takes up that design and it checks its design in its database where that design in what images those design is present and it displays the result so that's what we are going to learn today it's going to be a very interesting thing and a very easy thing trust me okay so let's get on to our spider id and see how we're going to do this okay so this is our program on uh, matching of contours uh, from 35 lines with including the gap so what we did here is we took two images over here. One is our template image, template image in which there is a like a one uh, shape present over there. And then there is a image which consists of lots of shapes. Then we are going to check whether uh, the our program can detect that template shape into all of those into all those shapes present in the another image. And those shapes will also be not similar. They will be different. Let me show you how they all looks like. I'm gonna run this much first, and then I'm just gonna do I am show sure over here. Uh, let me write I am sure for the template also. I write template image. Okay. So now if I run this much of the program over here in the below. I'm sure part. I got two images. This is my original image where I have three shapes. I've used this uh, image in my previous video also in sorting of the contours. It's the same image. And this is my template. It's a very big circle. And we are going to see if it can detect a shape uh, somewhat similar to this template over here in this. And I'm going to show you how it detects it, how it finds out all of the things I'm going to explain you in this video. Okay, so these are our both images. I've also created this template with the same way I've created this image. If you don't know how, check out my previous videos, previous video or the more previous videos where I've shown how to draw shapes. Okay, you can check both of those videos. I've explained both of those places. So go there and uh, check it out how I did it. Okay, so these two shapes, these two images we have, I'm gonna just close it. Now I'm gonna talk about the program over here that I wrote. So we are using uh, contours. So you know, in contours, we basically use our black and white images. That's why I have imported two libraries. I've read uh, both the images over here, and I've converted both of those images in a grayscale because uh, find contours method or the finding of contours accepts only a single scale images. That's why we have converted into a grayscale image. Then we have applied a little bit of a threshold over here so that they look mother they look almost uh, all those color variations get somewhat similar in both of those images that's why we applied a little bit of a threshold over here then we find the uh, contour in my, our both of the images you see here we have found the contours in both of those images and we have filtered the you know that big contour on the window complete window screen contour Okay, we have removed those from both of those images. We have removed that window screen contour because it's gonna detect in both of the images and it will give it as a result. But we don't want it as a result. 
we want to detect work with the shapes. So for the template, I have used this because in template there are only two shapes present. One is a big window and second is that big circle. So to remove window, I have sorted it with a reverse true and use the index one because we are uh, when we sorted the template image, it, it has sorted in a decreasing order because the reverse is true. And if you don't know this sorted method or the find contours method, watch my previous video, just previous video, and there I've explained how this sorted method works, how this find contour method works. So go take a help from those videos. I'm not gonna explain every concept in, in every video, okay? So uh, basically, I use the reverse is equal to true. That means it's gonna uh, sort our contours in a decreasing order so that means the biggest contour will come at index 0 that's why I chose index 1 as my uh, at index 1 definitely there will be a circle contour that's why I just selected the index 1 contour over here and then I find the contours inside of my shapes images where I have three shapes present over there and then there also I applied a filter that starting from one to last. I don't want the index zero over here also. Then what I did, now the main part comes. This much of the part is only here that is detecting the matching the contours in the images. Okay, only this much part. So what I did over here is I just to give some variable over here as match is equal to 10. This is just uh, one variable over here. Okay. Uh, you will get its significance later when you will understand the code over here. Then I use a loop for scenes or sorted contours. Means C will go all those contours uh, that are found in this shapes.jpg image. It, that C variable will go through them one by one and it will give its, you know, cv2.match shapes. I, this is a method, cv2.match shapes method is a method to compare two contours where I've given template contours, which is our template contour over here, and the C that is coming out from the sorted contours. Now in sorted contours, we have three contours, circle, square, ellipse. Okay, so it came out with a C. At first, whatever will be uh, will come, will come in the C variable, and we'll compare them together. Not two, two is the, um, there are three methods actually to do this. Okay, three, there are like uh, three, or you say mathematical formulas to do it. Okay, so you can try with any of the math mathematical formula one, two, three, doesn't matter. They all work perfectly fine. They will always give you a good result. They are highly, or uh, they are made by highly trained people. So, uh, doesn't matter whatever method you choose. Uh, I took two. You can take one. I will. I will. I can show you the result from all of those three methods. So it's just simply one, two, three methods. And this four, uh, fourth parameter, this don't work with that. This is a like a uh, work in development kind of a parameter okay uh, OpenCV is still working on this parameter there is it has not it does not have much of a significance up till now so there's no point of it just give it 0, 0.0 it's a float number so give it 0, 0.0 and just leave it okay so what happens is when we use this uh, let me run the whole program to explain you to this part okay print match I'm gonna run the program up to here only to show you what actually happens. Okay, I did a F9 and I got a output over here. Let me just adjust my screen over here. Okay, there's no point of it. Okay, so this is a, these three are outputs. One is 0 0.0279, another one is 1.2733, and then the third one is 0 0.0322. Okay, so these are some outputs are there. Now, what basically these outputs means is our contour, our template got compared with all of those three shapes and um, from which shape the more the closer or you know, the more likeliness will be present over there, the more the value will be inclined towards zero. Means the more similar that template will look to the shape of the our shapes.jpg file, the more value will be near to zero. So the smallest value will signifies that that this is the uh, most closest similar looking contour present in that image. Okay, so most of the times the you know the shape is not exactly in that image, but yeah, similar version of it. So it matches with the similar version if the 
you know value is exactly zero that means that exact shape of length breadth height exact everything is similar to over uh, there then that becomes exact zero otherwise it will always vary between zero to one something okay so these are the values over here so that why i have now uh, that's why i have used here s match is equal to 10 because actually i want to find the lowest number over here lowest match value over here to compare okay to know which has the lowest match value because that is the most similar contour present over there okay let me uh, run this whole program and sh show you what's happening over here okay this was the circle i made over here and you see here in the original image it is detecting uh, the circle as a similar most similar contour now even it will somewhat find ellipse also as a similar but more closest is the that this circle present over here okay because you see the size of the circle over here is somewhat similar to the size of ellipse only you need to stretch ellipse a little bit it will look exactly like a circle but here this circle over here is giving more closer reference to this template image over here so that's why what i did i did a little bit of a sorting technique over here okay i just find the lowest one of the of all these three values and i give s match is equal to 10 you can give it any value over here you can give it a uh, hundred or what because i know no comparison will be any greater than 10 even if the comparison is greater than 10 then i don't think that value is anywhere that anywhere defines that the template is anywhere similar to the shape start jpg image okay because 10 is a very high number and we need a number that is real close to zero so that's why i picked 10 you can you know you want much more clarity you can go with a hundred or the biggest number that you can think of okay it's like a random just a number that i took because whatever the i know the whatever the number will come that will be below 10 so that's why i was comparing it over here you can see i was doing uh, whatever the match value comes from here uh, with the cv2 dot match shapes function whatever the match value arrives i compare it if it is less than 10 because i need a value less than 10 so what i did i x take this c value inside of this cnt variable which is my contour variable over here which i use later on the draw contours section okay function sorry and i uh, transfer that match value in the s match so next time whatever the value will come it will be compared to the previous value okay so means first i got the value okay then next value will be compared with the previous value if it is smaller then again the next value will come will be compared to that smaller value okay so that i can reach up to the smallest value over there present and i can find its contour value whatever the contour list it has it owns and i draw that same contour over here when i draw the contour i got the original image with drawn with a that contour boundary over here okay now if you want to do a little bit of exper uh, experiment okay so this uh, over here now this was the my um, file uh, from which i draw the that template image over there uh, you can work with a rectangle also create a very big rectangle of some kind let me show you how this rectangle is gonna look like oh wait a minute let me run it okay this now our template oh wait a minute my mouse is again glitching yeah okay wait a minute yeah you see this is how our image looks like okay now right now i've created another template and it looks like this a uh, big piece of bar kind of thing okay i'm gonna close it now i'm gonna get back to our this matching contour section and i'm gonna run this program again and you see our template is like this and it is accepting it is most similar to the this square because it's got like four boundaries over here it has also four boundary much more similarity than the square in comparison to circular ellipse or any other shape if there's any more shape present over there that has got more similarity than this square then it will have taken it as a you know more similar one and it would have draw contour over there so that's how we find contours you can apply any method over here 
one two or three you can check with the two also let me show you again similar answer you can check with the method three also and the answer will be the same as expected okay methods are there all perfectly fine yeah in very high standard somewhere they differ with each other according to their situ according to like circumstances that you need to experiment on with okay so this is all in the matching of the contours this it's very similar uh, simple concept okay just try it out wait you know I, uh, when i learned this concept i tried with the you know my art downloaded lots of shared images and compared a design of one shirt into all those images to find the better uh, which is has most similar images and to display those images so you can try this kind of a project over the, over this concept okay it will really help you okay so this is all in the matching of contours see you in the next video